Hey everyone, welcome back to new amazing After Effects tutorial. Today, we're going to create this gaming type UI animation. She will learn many new tips and tricks in this tutorial, so make sure to watch till the end. Before we dive in, do not forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and you will get the project file link is in the description. Now, let us get started. So, here we are in After Effects. First of all, we'll make the ring text animation. For that, we'll create a new composition. Let's call it text fill and set its size to a 16 by 9 ratio with a duration of 6 seconds. Then, press OK. Now, right click on the timeline and create a new solid layer. Press OK. Next, go to the effects and presets panel and search for an effect called fractal noise. Apply it to the layer. Set the fractal type to max. Contrast to around 580 and brightness to around minus 150. Then, go under the transform option and increase the scale up to 600. Now, click on the stopwatch to create a keyframe on the evolution property. Go to the end of the animation and change its rotation by three times. Make another keyframe on offset turbulence at the end of the animation. Then, come back to the beginning of the layer and change its offset turbulence to 4000. Now, add another effect called Tint. And change its map white to a purple color. Then, add another effect called Polar Coordinates. Change the type of conversion direct to polar. And set the interpolation to 100%. Increase the scale of this layer a little bit so it covers the whole composition. Then, duplicate this layer. At the beginning, set the evolution to 1. And at the end, change it to 5 times. Now, change the tint color to darkest blue and set the blending mode of this layer to add. Now create a new composition and call it main text holder. Write your desired text Increase its size to cover the whole composition and center align the text. Use a bold font, I'll use this one. Then drag and drop the text fill composition behind the text layer and change its track mat to alpha mat. Duplicate the text layer, set its fill to none, and change its stroke color to darkest pink. Then select the region of interest icon and make a region around the text like this. Go under the composition menu and select crop comp to region of interest. Now, select all layers and pre-compose them by pressing Ctrl plus Shift plus C. Call it Ring Text. Then press Ctrl plus K. And set the comp layer back to the original 16 by 9 ratio. Next, create a new composition and call it Main Comp. Import your subject, I'll use this girl image, and adjust its size. Drag and drop the main text holder composition onto it.
Apply the CC cylinder effect on it. Go under the effect controls, change the X rotation to around minus 12. And at the beginning of the layer, make a keyframe on the Y rotation. Go to the end of the layer and change its Y rotation to 270 degrees. Now, go under the light option and change the light height to 80. Then, go under shading and set the ambient to around 70. Select the ring text layer and place it over the girl's head. Adjust its C rotation. Set the render to outside. Duplicate the main text composition and place it behind the subject layer. Set its render to inside. This will create the ring effect. Now, right click on the timeline and create a null layer. Parent all the layers to the null layer. Change the null layer's position towards the right like this. Now, we'll make the flickering background text. Create a new composition and call it background text. Write your text on the comp. Change its fill to purple. And adjust its position and scale. Go under its properties, click on Animate, and select Opacity. Set its opacity to 0. Then, go to Range Selector 1 and make a keyframe on the start value. Set it to 15 at the beginning. Then go a few frames ahead and change it to 100. Go under the Advanced option and turn on the Randomize order. Now, create an expression on the random seed by clicking on the stopwatch, holding the Alt key, and writing Time multiplied 20. This will create the flickering animation. To make it loop, create an expression on the start value. Loop out open and close parentheses. Duplicate this text layer, set its fill to none, and add a stroke of around 3 pixels. Remove the animator 1 from it. Now go back to the main comp and import the background text composition. Apply the CC repetal effect on it. Change its expand right value to 1200, and the left value to 1200 as well. Click on the Collapse Transformations button. At the beginning of the animation, make a keyframe on its position. Go to the last frame and drag its position towards the left. Select these keyframes and apply Easy Ease by pressing F9. Reduce its opacity a little so it blends with the background. Duplicate this composition and change its position slightly upward by selecting all the position keyframes. Right click on the keyframes, go under Keyframe Assistant and select Time Reverse Keyframes. Do this one more time. You can play with their scale to make it more appealing.
Now, select the Rectangle tool, set its fill to None, and add a stroke of around 10. Select the Gradient Stroke. Draw a perfect rectangle like this. Change its roundness to around 120 and place it over the background text composition. You can adjust the stroke gradient. These colors look good, so I'm not going to change them. Adjust the direction of the gradient using this point. Again, select the Rectangle tool, set its stroke to None, and fill it with any color. Draw a rectangle like this, change its roundness to around 70. Convert this layer to an adjustment layer by clicking on this icon. and apply the Fastbox Blur effect. Set the blur radius to around 60. Make a keyframe on its size. Unlink the dimensions, and at the beginning, set its Y value to 0. Select this keyframe, apply Easy Ease, and adjust the graph like this. Duplicate this layer, convert it back to a normal layer, and remove the effect. Set its fill to None and add a stroke of around 8 pixels. Apply the CC Light Sweep effect on it. Change its width to 250. Edge Intensity to 250. And Sweep Intensity to 0. Set the Light Reception to Cutout. This will give us a glossy effect around the edges of the rectangle. Make a keyframe on the direction property. Go to the ending frame and change its direction to 360 degrees. Set its opacity to around 80 and create a fade-in effect on its opacity. Now, write the text you want to reveal under this rectangle. I've written my text. Add the typewriter effect to the text layer. Press U and bring the keyframes closer. Add some glow to the rectangle layer. Now we'll create the raise effect on the ring text. Select the main text layer, duplicate it, and on the bottom text layer, apply the CC Radial Fast Blur effect.
set its amount to 90. Decrease the text layer opacity if it's too intense. Apply some glow to the text layer. Duplicate this info text layer and offset it by two frames. On the bottom text layer, apply the fill effect and set its color to blue. Now we'll create the position animation for the subject as well as the ring text animation. Select the null layer and make a keyframe on its position. At the beginning, change its position towards the right by holding the Shift key. Select the keyframes, apply Easy Ease, and adjust the graph like this. Go under the main text holder composition, select the ring text layer, and create a mask around the text using the rectangle tool. Make a keyframe on the mask path at the beginning of the animation. Select these two points and drag them towards the right by holding the Shift key. Apply Easy Ease to this keyframe and adjust its position like this. Now, select the rectangle, add trim paths to it, and make a keyframe on the start value. At the beginning, set the value to 100 and adjust the offset value. At the end, right-click on the subject layer, go to Layer Styles, and select Stroke. Change its color to light red and size to 4. After making some adjustments, this is the final animation. You can use this technique in many ways in your project. I hope you liked this video. If you did, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more amazing tutorials. And follow me on Instagram for more tips and tricks. See you in the next tutorial.